Good morning, people of God. Listen, I hope everyone rested well. Thank you so much. Um, I want to tell you something. Many of you, the kingdom of heaven is within you. You carry the presence of God, right? So, as you continue on going about your day, those of you who have to show up on folks' jobs and, you know, just life, dealing with things, period. I want you to understand something, look at something from a different perspective. If you carry the kingdom of heaven within you, if you carry the light of, hey, how you doing? The light of Christ on the inside of you, think it not strange as you go out into the earth now. And I know you, you understand this better now, but think about what you carry on the inside of you, the power that you hold when you see opposing forces. The power that you hold, which is the presence of Christ, basically, because Christ can work through you. Your vessel is a vessel that is surrendered to the Lord. So he is able to work through you and people feel his energy on you. You ever, you know, like folks have children and they say, oh, you sure look like your daddy. Or, oh, you sure look like your mama. Why? Because they see the resemblance of their earthly parents. So, hey, how you doing? <laughs> so, all right. So, therefore, when you are a child of the kingdom, and you carry his presence on the inside of you, right? You are, you've already come back into uh, alignment with your heavenly father from whence we came, right? Because he said, I knew you before you were in your mother's womb. So therefore, his presence can be felt on those who are surrendered to him. And now that presence, that power that they feel, unbeknownst to many of us at times from the past, all that all that is in opposition to the kingdom of heaven and that has taken some people captive that has oppressed people with infirmity with uh, 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 um, depression with uh, already you with um, um, you know uh, spirits of uh, just dysfunction um, backwardness and the jealous all those dark forces whatever they may be you're able to detect that in the spirit they recognize you so think it not strange when your presence disrupt atmospheres that are not um, that are not Christ-like. Think it not strange when you run across folk and they are disrupted at their at, at 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 your presence. It makes folk feel some type of way, rather than being sad, rather than feeling, man, why I gotta go face this? No, mm -mm. don't let the opposition overwhelm you. Realize why you are seeing these manifestations. You have the power on the inside of you that can arrest these dark forces. You have the power on the inside of you that can pray and intercede for these people so that the captives will be set free. Just your presence alone because that's the energy. What you see and what is opposing you, it doesn't have authority to overtake you. This is a whole new level. You understand that God wants his people to operate at. So look at so, so I hope I was clear. Look at things from a different perspective. You carry the power. You carry the power to help those who are bound by forces that are opposing you. Just through your spoken words, through your actions, your behaviors. See, God will renew your strength. And many of you already see this. Sometimes it can be draining if you allow it to drain you. But when your prayer life is active, even in the midst of opposition, even when you're on a job and you got to go to the restroom or go someplace where you can pray, when you're praying, you can automatically feel the atmosphere shift at times. So exercise what is on the inside of you, you know? When Jesus told the disciples, go out, what did they tell the people? The kingdom of heaven has come unto you. Why? Because those who were in Christ, they carried the kingdom of heaven on the inside of them. So... I want you to look at it from that standpoint, okay? All right, that's just my little two cents. Let's go be great. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. He's my friend. What did he do for us? He woke me up in early this morning. <laughs> I added that little bit on there. But anyway, y'all have a blessed day. Have a song in your heart. Exercise that power that's on the inside of you. Your prayers are powerful. They can shift happiness. They can set the captives free.